Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Real Blue TV here once again with another 8K qualifying recap video. This time, qualifier number seven in the books, and two more teams have been solidified in that main bracket for the EU and NA tournament. We had some really good matches in this one, even all the way back to the second round where all caps lock had to go up against semi surfers. That was a grinder, but all caps lock was able to take the victory. It didn't even go uh, all three games because that was a best of one as game round one and round twos were still best of one. So we did see them play on Skyfell and all caps lock with Rome, Peak, Synaptic and Liddy. They were pretty much on fire uh, throughout most of the tournament until they ended up losing. They did lose to a good team, but a little, little uh, questionable uh, would they lose if this bug didn't happen kind of thing we'll talk about that here in a second but they were able to beat maestro crump fathom and clumsy pretty easily on skyfell and uh semi surfers did not look like the usual semi surfers that we've seen in some of the past qualifying tournaments they have made it pretty far into those tournaments but not so much this time in round three we saw some decent matches too we saw a team that we have only seen one time by name but we never actually got to watch them play and that's aqualix roco with crazy para bog lurker and dave they ended up beating brave chimpanzee and brave chimpanzee is versatile colt vapor and jeek again one of those squads that has made it pretty deep into these tournaments they made it into the semifinals just yesterday uh, so they were one one win away from qualifying this time they don't make it past round three and they get 2 0'd by Aqualix Roco. So, another team that's starting to step up and find some victories under their belt. Another good one was All Caps Lock in round three. That is when they met their match. They ended up losing to Clam and the Boys. Clam and the Boys, of course, being Donnie G, Calm, Lurksy, Perp. Uh, and this went three games. They went to Vice, they went to Lockdown, and they went to Skyfell, I believe. And. Lockdown went in favor of all caps lock. Vice could have went in favor of all caps lock as well. It was 6-6. Six, six, and on the defense was all caps lock. They kind of pushed the offense into a corner in the bathroom or the secret, whatever you want to call it. Or some people call that banana as well. They pushed them all in there. There was a Ronin knife on that jump wall. And Rome on the Lancer threw his Semtex above the wall. It blew up. He gets a 100 hit marker, which could have only been the Ronin knife. He jumps over the wall and then dies to the Ronin knife. It says he killed himself with it because of the Semtex explosion. He didn't jump too soon. Um, it's just that bug. He got double hit. The double hit off of the Ronin knife and they lost that game 7-6 because of it with life drain and one or two of his teammates still alive he would have been able to kill if not all three of them at the very least one or two uh i think so they could have won that and they could have won this, this set 2-0 instead they win lockdown and force them to go to skyfell and on skyfell all caps lock pretty much just fell apart at that point they uh, you know, the first game was 7-6, second game was 7-5, and then the third game was, uh, I think, like a 7-2, 7-3, whatever it may have been. At the end of the day, they fell apart. They started arguing. Uh, there was conversations that led into the next round about the previous round, and and uh, Liddy overextended a bunch of times because of that. Even on the callouts, they weren't able to uh, rebound from that, and they ended up just losing the game because of that and those mistakes that they were making. So moving on, we have some other good matches to watch. We saw STK needs to get a grip. That's the team name. It was actually two members of STK that was playing for that team, Bop and Ghost. Uh, they were playing with Truancy, uh, who has a new gamer tag, just True now. But that's Truancy and Ares the Bot. And they made it pretty far into the tournament themselves. They went up against Precision Retirement Party. Uh, in the round three matchup that they had, which was Fluxy, one of those Paladins players that we are aware of, Vulcan, Shunke, and Precision. And uh, they ended up losing to Bop and Ghost, and the STK needs to get a grip team. So maybe Precision will be retiring. Maybe this was his retirement party. Uh, but Vulcan, we haven't seen much of him in the past before. We've seen a lot of Shunke, especially in the Roko Showdown. And, of course, I know Fluxy from Paladins. Pretty good sniper, but he couldn't stay on par with Ares in the Fixer battle and ended up losing. Using that matchup rrxd made it through to the next round after that uh we not fit and flex one of those teams that we've seen a few times decent 
uh, group of players and decent team that have made it pretty deep into these tournaments as well. They ended up losing in round three to Devil May Cry, which again is Gringo, Losi, and Crix, and Elvin. They played pretty well throughout the day as well. But moving into the quarterfinals, Aqualix Roko ended up falling finally to Luxury S. This is a team that we have never heard of, we have never seen, and they pretty much came in and cleaned house today as they were the ones who qualified and won Grand Finals 2-0 against RRXD. But Luxuries versus Aqualix Roco. That's Ocean, Majesty, Nevin, and Titan Shifter. I've never seen or heard of any of these players. You look at their win-loss on the CMG as well. I mean, Nevin has the most games played on CMG. He's 11-4. and four. Other than that, they're all novice level. None of them have ever played in any other CMGs uh, besides maybe one because the Ocean, Majesty, and Titan Shifter all have one loss. Uh, and other than that, they're 6-0. So basically today was their only CMG besides one where they just lost 01, I guess. Uh, so looking forward to seeing some more of these guys as again, never seen any of them, but they were able to beat Aqualix Roco and move to the semifinals. Clam and the boys were able to beat Legion Esports. Legion Esports, we've seen them a few times now in these tournaments. That's Mars, Kills, Buka, and uh, someone with an Arabic name that I cannot read. So. They, uh, they've been showing up to some qualifiers here in the EU region, but they still cannot make it past the quarterfinals. I think that's actually the farthest that they have been at this point in time. STK needs to get a grip, went up against RRXD. That's a tough matchup. They ended up losing that, and uh, RRXD, well... They they uh, they dropped a couple rounds that they maybe shouldn't have, but after that they really stepped up their gameplay and, and took the STK needs to get a grip to the house. Other than that, we saw Devil May Cry versus We Not Fit. We Not Fit, one of those teams where we have seen some of those players before, like Kafola. We've seen him in the Roco Showdown. We've seen Cobalt before. Iota, I believe we've seen on paper, but not actually played. Uh, we haven't seen him play in game yet. And then F. Q E Q F K. I don't really know what that name is, but uh, haven't seen much of him either. He's only been in 12 CMG games himself, and uh, about four of those were today. Into the semifinals, we got Luxury S versus Clam and the Boys. Uh, Luxury S pretty much ran through Clam and the Boys. They beat them 2 0, and they beat them pretty fast, other than a disconnect where they had to restart game one on High Castle. It was pretty fast, other than that. So, Luxury S uh, just pretty much running through the bracket. RRXD went up against Devil May Cry. There was some hope for Devil May Cry, but RRXD eventually took it. They only went, they went all three games High Castle, Vice, Favillas. Vice went in favor of Devil may cry high castle in favor of rrxd and map three which was favelas also went in favor of rxd they just had better retakes on defense and their offense was much stronger as well uh devil and and another thing to note is rxd and luxury i assume luxury is an eu team uh we know for sure rxd is they they stick with their uh trench dahlia fixer and Vi, they stick with those four rogues. And when they do, they win. And when they don't, which we did see RXD swap on Vice on offense, they were playing some Ronin and some Anvil, but they lost. So when you see RXD pull out the four rogues over and over and over again, you know that they have a better chance of winning. When they try something else, uh, it doesn't look as good. And we saw that on Vice against Devil May Cry. But moving into the grand finals, Luxury S versus RRXD is an interesting game. Interesting grand finals. We've seen a ton of RRXD in the past in the Roco Showdown, some other CMGs, and here today. We know they're a good team, but they get 2 0'd by Luxury. And there were some rounds where they went back and forth. RRXD looked really good, then Luxury looked really good. At the end of the day, though, Luxury had the better attack on Icarus. They also had the better attack on Factory, and they ended up just winning the game. And that's how it pretty much went down. So Luxury S or Luxuries will be your, what is it, 13th seed. Your 14th seed will be RRXD. And that means, if we take a look at the bracket now, so now that means... Of course, the 14th or the, excuse me, the 13th and the 14th seed are solidified, which means that Luxuries, being that 13th seed, will have to face Gagoon Squad in the first round of the main bracket. And then, of course, the 14th seed being RRXD will face seven deadly sins in the first round right there. So now, only one more qualifier remaining, two more teams, uh, 
available to be in this main bracket of course those will be the two teams that have to face against era eternity and tier one in the first rounds but hey you never know what could happen this bracket's looking pretty spicy already all the way around don't forget to follow me on twitter at real blue tv with no e in blue as well as on twitch and instagram don't forget to like share and subscribe this video let me know who you guys think are is going to win the next qualifier who, who do you think is going to qualify and uh overall who you think is the best team in rogue company right now because this is eu and na and i cannot wait until this bracket has started yes sir keep grinding everyone